All right, I don't know how else to say this, but uh, I'm getting real sick and tired of dealing with wild animals just making their way into my house any way they please. It seems like every couple of months or so, something sneaks its way inside, and now it's my job to chase it back outside with a coat hanger. I'm sick of it. And for those of you that aren't new to the channel, you might remember my cartoon about when we had a bat in the house. Well, guess what happened? That's right, we're talking Bat in the House Part 2, Bat with a Vengeance. All right, so let's set the scene of this little incident. I'm in my basement, and I'm attempting to work out because, well, I'm trying to maintain my girlish figure. You know, sitting around making stick figure cartoons isn't exactly physically demanding, so I'm doing the best I can. Well, imagine my surprise when I notice that there's a bunch of tiny little turds on the carpet. And that's when I think, well, that's weird. I don't remember starting a tiny little turd collection in the basement. How did these get here? And that's when I look up and see a dirty ass little bat all upside down doing bat shit. Now, my first reaction was to yell, ah, oh, piss, it's back again. Because my dumb ass just automatically assumed that it was the same fucking bat from the last episode. And you know, he's back with a vengeance. So now this is an official ordeal that I have to deal with and I'm pretty pissed off about it. What the hell do I gotta do at this point? Get a goddamn restraining order against this thing? What the hell? Well then I think, you know what? To hell with this bat. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not gonna let some dirty little bat dictate my lifestyle with your bullshit face and your weird leather wings. I'm finishing my goddamn workout. So there I am in my basement lifting weights, all paranoid as hell watching this bat out of the corner of my eye, just waiting for it to fly into my face and give me typhus or whatever the hell bats do. You can say what you want, but bats are fucking terrifying. I don't know what the exact statistics are, but there's like a 3% chance that this thing could be Dracula and bat form. I just don't have time to be dealing with that shit, are you serious? So I finished my workout like the big man that I am, and now I choose to deal with the bat on my time. And this is where I decide to document the event with my iPhone, like some kind of shitty Steve Irwin, if you will. Now the good news is, is that we have a walkout basement. So if I'm able to, I can shoo the damn thing out the sliding glass door, and it can go back to the seventh layer of hell where it came from. I just need a weapon of some sort to protect myself. But what weapon should I use? At first I think, I know, a 30 out 6 That's perfectly suitable for this situation. I need a rifle. But then I'm like, no, 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 that's a bit extreme. I'm not storming the beaches of Normandy. This thing's the size of a fucking hamster, for Christ's sake. So then I have a flashback to a few months ago where I was sitting on the couch drunk, shopping on Amazon like an idiot, and I decided to buy a full-size airsoft Tommy gun. Oh, yeah, that seems suitable for a 31-year-old man. Let's buy it. Well, 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 in retrospect, that doesn't seem like such a stupid-ass purchase now. So here I am, approaching this bat like I'm fucking SEAL Team 6, trying to threaten it with an automatic weapon. Clearly, you can see that the bat doesn't give two shits about me or my plastic submachine gun. Well, goddammit, all right, time for plan B. Enter the 12-foot pool net, a.k.a. the Bat Capturer 9000. So here we are, take two. Notice I uh, still have the Tommy gun in one hand, just in case this thing morphs into a fucking Nosferatu or some shit. Now, if you notice, the bat clearly doesn't want to go into the net. It just keeps, like, clicking at me like a broken garage door opener. Ugh, keeps clicking at me. Now, I don't speak bat, but I imagine it saying something along the lines of, Hey, stop it, you dick! I got squatter's rights! Go get a fucking eviction notice! Well, god damn it, how am I gonna coax this bat into this net? I'm running out of options here. I'm thinking back to all those shitty zoo books I read as a kid, trying to figure out what bat's like. I start turning the lights off, thinking that might help. Does that piss you off less? So after like 15 minutes and like a half a dozen different methods, I finally get this goddamn thing into the net. And, uh, well, it's a little nerve-wracking, to say the least. Oh, oh god! Oh God! It's a goddamn vampire bat, what can I say? It's scary. So I run out to my backyard and try to catapult this thing back into the abyss, but now I have a new problem. Now the bat won't leave the goddamn pool net. So now I'm swinging this 12 foot pool net around my backyard like a lunatic. My next door neighbor's probably watching through the windows like, uh, is this guy trying to catch butterflies or is he just on methamphetamine? Yeah, probably both, I guess, I don't know. Now I did manage to record this part of the story as well, but I uh, accidentally filmed the whole thing in the slow-mo setting on my iPhone, which means that the footage looks a lot more epic than it should. The thing looks like a fucking ending to a Disney movie for Christ's sake. So without further ado, here's the conclusion of this shitty little story. It does have a happy ending. I hope you enjoy it.
Bluestill.com.